Hey there, it's Mallory here with All About Cats. And in this week's video, we're talking about cat bowls, which types of cat bowls are best and which products are the best on the market. So let's get into it. So what you use uh, to feed your cat is not as important as what you feed your cat, but the way that your cat's meals are served is an important consideration. Um, cats are predators and they are hunters and your cat's feeding situation should reflect that. So the number of times you feed your cat each day matter, the place in which you feed your cat matters, and the bowls or dishes that you use to feed your cat are also important. And choosing a good cat bowl is going to help to make your cat's meals more pleasant and it's also going to make life a little bit easier for you. Over the last year, I've tried about 18 different cat bowls, and I've done some research on which qualities go into a good cat bowl. And what I've concluded is that the best cat bowls are made from hygienic materials. They're going to be made from stainless steel, ceramic, or glass. You're going to want to generally avoid plastic as this can uh, accumulate biofilm. It can uh, contribute to chin acne. So a lot of bowls out there are kind of narrow and deep, which forces your cat to kind of put their face down into the bowl. And that just really isn't that comfortable. And then when you add on the idea of whisker fatigue, which is this idea that our cat's incredibly sensitive whiskers are kind of causing overstimulation when they touch the sides of their bowl as they're eating. When you consider that as well, it's obvious that a nice shallow, relatively wide bowl is going to be preferable. So something like a nice wide dish um, can be a really good option. The other thing that I think about when looking for a good cat bowl is how well it manages to stay put and avoid slipping around on the floor. So you're going to want a cat bowl that has a rubber grip on the bottom or something that is able to stabilize it and make sure that it's not sliding around on the floor as your cat eats. So those are the main things that I'm looking for. And different cats are going to have different preferences and different needs, and your household might have different needs. And these are going to determine other things like how high the bowl is. So do you want an elevated bowl? All of the uh, bowls that I'm talking about here are relatively low. Uh, I'm not going to be mentioning any elevated bowls. So with that said, let's jump into my top six recommendations. My number one recommendation is Dr. Catsby's Whisker Relief Bowl. The reason why I chose this bowl as our top recommendation is because it has the basic qualities that we're looking for in any cat bowl. It's relatively shallow, it's going to be easy for your cat to eat from, it is made from stainless steel, which makes it pretty hygienic, and it has a nice mat that prevents it from sliding around on the floor. Now, of course, this bowl is marketed as a whisker relief bowl. It's intended to combat whisker fatigue, which is, again, this uh, condition that was first mentioned in 2017 in the New York Times, and which vets don't agree really exist, but which has become more and more of a consideration when we're consi looking at cat bowls. I think that some of the claims on the Dr. Catsby's website about what this bowl can do for your cat are probably a little bit dramatic, but at the same time, I think that the bowl's design is very cat friendly and um, could potentially make your cat a little bit happier while they're eating. So instead of having distinct sides, this bowl is just a dish with a gentle depression, and that's where your cat's food is going to go. So this little depression has a 12 ounce capacity and it's not that great at containing food. So if your cat is one of those who tends to spray and spill food everywhere, um, you might have to pair it with a larger mat to keep everything contained. Um, personally, I didn't really have any problem using it with wet food, even wet food mixed with water. Um, so it does seem to be a pretty good all-purpose bowl for cats who are a little bit on the neater side. Like the other recommendations on this list, the bowl is easy to clean either by hand or in the dishwasher. And overall, it's pretty easy to handle and maintain. So I think that this is in every way a good all-purpose cat bowl. I think that most cats are going to do quite well with it. Um, my main concerns are that it's a bit expensive. So at $19.95, it's definitely more expensive than a cat bowl necessarily needs to be. Um, and then the other concern is that spilling issue. Some cats are going to probably push food off of the sides and that can be a little bit frustrating. So if that $19.95 price tag is a little bit expensive to you, you might want to consider our next option, which is the best budget bowl. So the R-Pet Stir-Pet stainless steel bowl is available in a few different sizes. So if you get the 
one with a three quarter cup capacity, the price is going to be lower than $6. I purchased the large size, which has a one and three quarter cup capacity, um, and that cost just under $10, so $9.95. But generally, it tends to be a little bit on the lower side of the price spectrum. Now, of course, if you really want a cheap cat bowl, you can always use one of your plates um, that you already have on hand or some kind of dish. You certainly don't need to buy a dedicated cat bowl to satisfy your cat, um, but if you are in the market for a dedicated cat bowl, something like this Our Pets um, bowl could be a good option. So what I like about this bowl is that it satisfies all of the general requirements we're looking for. It has made from stainless steel. It has a nice rubber grip on the bottom. I found that of the bowls here, this is the one that tends to grip the ground the best and slides around the least. Um, and it has a nice shallow design so your cat's easily able to eat from it. The bowl sides are just about one inch in height, which is nice and shallow, and it's generally kind of wide so your cat's able to stick their head in there comfortably. My biggest complaint with this bowl is that it has a sticker in the middle of the bowl. And while I was able to get it off cleanly, a lot of reviewers say that it left some sticky residue and they were struggling to get it off. They had to use Goo Gone. Some people said that it didn't work. Um, this sticker is really kind of a frustration and uh, I would like to see the company maybe reconsider their sticker placement or not use it at all because it does seem to be a pretty consistent problem. Again, this bowl is going to be easy to clean by hand or in the dishwasher, and from what I've read in customer reviews, it seems to be a pretty long-lasting bowl. So overall, a good all-purpose option that's going to satisfy all of those needs uh, on a relatively tight budget. Our third recommendation is the best double feeder. So if you want to have two bowls set side by side, I would recommend the Hepper Nom Nom Bowl. Now, a lot of these feeders uh, that set two bowls side by side in a tray uh, tend to use silicone or some kind of soft rubber. And what I've observed is that this tends to get really grimy really quickly. Um, and it also tends to not be all that durable. So what's different about the Hepper is that it uses a polypropylene plastic tray. This is much more rugged and it tends to stay a bit cleaner and is easier to maintain. So that's what sets this uh, double feeder apart from the rest. So the feeder has these two little 10 ounce bowls. You can use them for food on one side, water on the other side, two different types of food, whatever you want. Um, and these are seated inside of that tray, which is going to capture any crumbs and spills. I found that it did a good job of protecting the floor and keeping everything nice and clean around the food bowls. And I overall um, found it to be a nice cat friendly option that is also pretty human friendly. So it's easy to clean all of these parts in the dishwasher. You can put that tray on the top rack and everything, every part of it is uh, dishwasher safe. Of course, the biggest downside of this particular bowl is that it costs $39.50, so it's pretty expensive, um, but it is competitively priced compared to some similar products. And I think that it is going to be more long lasting. Uh, so you can check this product out on the Hepper website. I'll put a link in the description. So my next recommendation is going to be a good option if your cat eats dry food and maybe seems to have some behavioral issues or seems like they could use some extra stimulation. So the Doc and Phoebe's uh, hunting feeder kit, um, which I'm recommending here, is able to engage your cat in natural hunting behavior and uh, really keeps them mentally and physically stimulated at mealtimes. So it was developed by veterinarian Dr. Liz Bales with the intention of really allowing cats to engage with their predatory hunting instincts instead of just going straight to a bowl and eating. So we know that it's a good idea to feed your cat multiple small meals throughout the day. We know that um, being able to hunt for food can help to resolve some behavioral issues. And we know that cats in multi-cat homes tend to feel a bit better when they're able to eat in private or uh, without other cats hanging out around them. And so these little mouse-shaped feeders can help your cat to benefit from all of those different things. So each mouse contains about 1.6 tablespoons of food. It's supposed to be one sixth of your day cat's daily intake. So you're going to scatter these through the house in the morning, let your cat find them, hunt for them, eat from them, um, and then 
you're going to scatter three of them through the house in the evening. I've read a lot of customer reviews from people saying that these feeders help to resolve behavioral issues. So their cat was aggressive, understimulated, and uh, once they had these feeders available, it kind of helped to resolve that. It can help if your cat is keeping you up at night because it allows your cat to go get food by themselves. And it can also help uh, with cats who are overweight because it forces them to move around a little bit more um, when they're trying to get their food. So overall, I think this is a really cool concept for cats who eat dry food. The fact that it only works with dry food kind of defeats the whole purpose of being a species appropriate alternative. Um, but if you are feeding your cat dry food, I definitely think this would be a step up. Other downside of these feeders is that um, they're made from plastic. You can wash them in the dishwasher, but there is a chance that there could be some more accumulation. Uh, so that's potentially a little bit of a downside. This kit currently costs $14.99 on Chewy, so it's on sale right now. Uh, you can also purchase it for $19.99 on the Doc and Phoebe store. So our next recommendation is going to be a good option if you have multiple cats and they either eat different amounts or they need to eat different types of food and you want to keep their food separate. So it's the Shore Pet Care Shore Feed Microchip Feeder. It's going to detect either your cat's microchip or a special tag included with the feeder and is only going to open up and allow your cat to access the food if they're registered in the system. Cats who are not registered are going to kind of come to this little plastic cover and they're not going to be able to access the food inside. This is currently really the best option we have for keeping cats food separate. And I found that like other Shore pet care products I've tried, it's very well built. It comes with a really nice instruction manual and the customer support seems to be quite good. Um, so at $172.49, it is a bit expensive, but for a household that needs it, this is really a great tool and I don't think that it has really any competition on the market. And my final recommendation is uh, my top pick for an automatic feeder. So sometimes you don't just want to have your cat's food sitting out in a bowl. You want to be able to schedule and program their meals um, to come out at certain times and perhaps in certain amounts. And so the CatMate C500 automatic feeder is my top recommendation. What I like about this feeder is that you're able to use it with any type of food. So you're able to use it with wet food, dry food, treats, medications. You can put anything in there. You're able to decide exactly how much comes out in each meal. And you're able to program up to four different meal times plus one immediate feed. Additionally, it has a little ice pack that you can put in there, which will help to keep wet food fresh. Um, so you, again, you have a lot of flexibility. No, you don't have as many meal times as you would with uh, a typical upright feeder, um, but I think that it kind of makes up for that in terms of feeding flexibility. Uh, of course, we have more recommendations for automatic feeders in our video on the best automatic feeders, um, but this is my top recommendation and I think it's going to be a good fit for a lot of homes. So this particular feeder costs $54.60. So I think that's about it for my top six recommendations. I hope that you found it helpful. Um, please let me know in the comments which type of bowl you use. Do you just use an old Cool Whip container? Um, do you use one of the bowls shown here or another cat? bowl and which types of bowls your cats prefer. Do they like elevated bowls? Do they like tilted bowls? Do they have a preference for a certain type of material? Um, please let me know about it in the comments. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more buyer's guides, product reviews, and information on all things cats, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We put out new videos at least once a week, uh, so there's always something to look forward to. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye.